Joining us now in the latest installment of our Watch This Space series is the man behind the Artemis program, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. He's at the CME Global Financial Leadership Conference and joins us now. Administrator, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. It's good to be with you. So I think I need to start with the money trail here for Artemis. We've got, as we speak, lawmakers voting on another continuing resolution uh, to keep the government funded. But even as we see that move forward, the fact that we don't have the fiscal 2020 budget appropriated, how much of that is a challenge to being able to see this 2024 deadline met for Artemis? Well, it is definitely a challenge, but I will tell you, um, I, I really do have confidence uh, that uh, in December, um, I think that a, a, an appropriation bill will be complete. Um, I will tell you that uh, this is not unusual. I was in the House of Representatives myself. Um, after the fiscal year began, we were in CRs until right before Christmas pretty much every year. So um, I am not losing hope, and I will tell you that the Artemis program has strong bipartisan support. People are excited about going forward to the moon sustainably, uh, going with commercial partners, going with international partners, and, and indeed going now uh, to the surface of the moon with the first woman in history. So this has strong bipartisan support, and I, I really believe that we will have an appropriation bill before the end of the calendar year. Administrator, can I ask a, a big picture question and perhaps expose my ignorance in front of the space expert Morgan next to me? But <laughs> what, what, what is the ultimate point of going back to the moon again? I, I guess 50 years ago, there was a, a point in just going there for the sake of it. Th there's surely no point in going for the sake of it again. Well, wh why do we need to get men and women well, back that, on the moon? That, no, that, that's... That we, we don't go for the sake of it. Um, I want to be really clear. P, P, when we talk about what we got out of the uh, Apollo program, um, a lot of people watching this are going to watch on DirecTV or Dish Network. Maybe some people are going to see it via internet broadband from space. I come from Oklahoma. A lot of rural Oklahomans get their internet from space, and they're going to watch this program on the internet from space. We talk about XM radio. Maybe people are going to listen on XM radio. The way we navigate, look at GPS, a, a, a capability for navigation created by this little agency called NASA, now operated by the Department of Defense. Uh, we look at how we predict weather, how we understand climate, how we do disaster relief. Um, in fact, look at every banking transaction in the United States of America dependent on that timing signal from GPS. Look at the regulation well, but that, but of flows of electricity. But that doesn't need another man on the moon. No. <laughs> So what, what matters is what we get from exploring space. We get new technologies, we get new capabilities, and when we look at the investments of the United States of America, those investments in space return many, many, many times what the investment actually is. It's not like really any other government program. It's a program that uh, results in American greatness. It results in exports. Um, here we are at the Global Financial Leadership Conference, and we were just on stage talking with people about how Right now, the United States of America has 60% of the market share when it comes to launch. That is happening because of investments done by NASA. So that is a net export for the United States of America uh, at a time when we had trade, have trade deficits. And everybody is aware my boss is worried about trade deficits. We're bringing America back from a launch perspective, but also from a communication perspective, from a navigation perspective, even from weather. NASA is involved in all these things, and we're going to lead the world, which is what people expect from us.